So we're at Dom's, the Cornish woodsmith's place, and we're having a bit of a bit of a crafting session. So for a change, instead of spoons, we're we're on stools. So come and have a look at what we've been up to. So is that is that one? That's Dom's one. That's isn't Dom's, it? Yeah, yeah, in progress. Yeah. So this is what we've been creating. Can I angle you down a little bit so you can see better? Yeah. Can you see that? I think you can see that. So that's Dom's stool, which oh, it's going to fall to pieces if I wiggle around with it too much. It's got a lovely surface created by Travisher, a piece of oak, and then the legs are oh, it's going to fall over. Over here, we've got a nice supply of ash that we've cleft with this thing, which is a throw. And so then, after after it's been cleft, uh, we've been sort of cutting it to size with an axe, like uh, Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy's doing. You're on film, Jeremy. Okay, so. Um, Basically, we've got one that's, yeah, so can I show him the, show the, yeah, so we've got these, can you see how the tenons been made, tapering tenons, and then, there we are, a tapering hole in the bottom, so these legs slot in, and then the nice thing about the tenons being tapering is that they get a nice secure fit, so, what's that? Was it, what's it made from? Oh, is that uh, oh, sycamore. Is it sycamore? Sycamore, right. So a piece of sycamore for the top. Excellent. And then, so after they, they've been roughly shaped, we've been having them on the um, shave horse here. So this is Alex's collapsing foldable shave horse. Oh, brilliant. Perfect timing. So, um, James. James. <laughs> <laughs> James is going to be shaping his legs off. So this is axed out. And what we'll aim for is to get these. Oh, look at that though. Oh, are you going to keep that texture yeah, on? Yeah. Exactly. Look at that. Can you see that that's under the bark? Oh, I want to do a spoon with that on. That's, that's where a bark beetle has. That's a beautiful pattern. I've got to keep some of that on there. Yeah, that's amazing. So my, these are my legs here. So this is what I've got down to. So I'll probably taper those down to a, a smaller point at the bottom of the leg. We'll come and have a look in the workshop and see what's going on. Oh, here comes Felix with the drill. Yeah. <laughs> right, Tom. <laughs> All right. Oops. Oh, lots of crafting action going on in here. That's really. Are you gonna are you gonna have that shape in it? Yeah. It's crazy. Fantastic. And how's that? Yeah, good. This is the What? What? That bit. I know. What, what wood is it? Um, it's oak. This one. It's gonna, that's going to be really lovely when you've got yeah. that. Yeah. Fantastic shape. Yeah. Well, this is mine in here. So I'm making actually making a little table. So that's the one I'm going to be working on. And then over here, Ed, what are you up to? Come, come and have a look. Yeah, you can have a look, mate. So Ed's like proper, not a green woodwork. He's a proper... Well, I go against the grain. <laughs> yeah, we go with the grain, he goes against the grain. So what would you call yourself, a furniture maker or are you a cabinet maker? I was a tree joiner. Joiner. But what are you now? Uh, I am um, woodworker. Woodworker. <laughs> so look at this, look at this clever thing. What this thing there? here. This clever thing. The Legatron. Here. The Legatron. Can I grab those legs? Yeah, look, sure. at look, look at these, look. This is when... Green woodworkers get a uh, cabinet maker envy. Look at these perfect legs he's made. So these have been lovely octagonal tapering legs. Those are going to be so beautiful. So this thing, is it going that way? Is it yeah, it way? goes yeah, that way. Butts up against the stock there. That's been planed. Planed with, I just used uh, Stanley number four. One of those. And then uh, to finish it off, once I've done all the tenons, I'll use a Stanley jointing plane number seven. Fantastic. And put on the bench in the proper position. My, yeah. my 
uh, woodworking teacher used to, yeah, that was the thing he always went on about, was making sure. Although, actually, that's designed to go against wood, isn't it? So probably on a wooden bench. Uh, it's the way, because the, the bevel is on underneath, it will actually turn up. Oh, so it is. Down. So he was right. Yeah, yeah. All those years of moaning us about it. But yeah. it's, uh, it's summing and nothing, really. Right. You, you constantly show up in tools, aren't you? So yeah. Yeah. There you go. Right, so this is one of Ed's over here. So look at this. This is what he's aiming for. Look at this beauty. So I think ours aren't going to aspire to this level of. Don't, don't uh, pick me up more. <laughs> I am picking you up because you're a proper <laughs> furniture maker, and we're just we're just bodgers. Right. So that's a little glimpse into what we're up to today. I thought you might like to see. Oh, sorry, Philip. Yeah.